Hello, my name is Peter Onsorge. On, on behalf of the European Academy for Environmental Medicine and the Deutschen Berufsverband der Klinischen Umweltmediziner, I welcome you to this video. In this video, I want to talk about toxicological health risk assessment and that solely following these aspects is wrong. We need a wider scope, including investigations on, for instance, inflammation processes targeting the neuroendocrine immune system with respect to vulnerability and susceptibility. If we follow the consecutive cascade of environmental burden, then we are aware of multiple vicious cycles interacting each other. These cycles are very important to understand. You see above all those triggers, not all, but there are examples, for instance. Those triggers go to the cell, meeting the NMDA receptor, pushing, uh, getting to the cell and pushing out a lot of calcium into the cell. This vicious cycle by uh, Martin Paul it's called the no-no cycle, it's very complicated. I want to make it easier now. If the calcium goes to the cell, very in much amount of calcium, nitrogenative stress and oxidative stress occurs. By superoxide and peroxynitrite leading to NF-kappa B, and this leads again to a chronic inflammation, disturbance immune system tolerance, and initiation of further sensitization, giving a feedback to the, uh, the point of calcium input and going back to the no-no cycle again. So we have at least two cycles, one on the left side, one on the right side, and they're feeding each other. We have here the environmental impact, Afterwards, we have a biochemical effect, and then we have a immunical, immunological effect. But chronic immune activity is important trigger of chronic inflammation. Due to genetic predisposition, gene and enzyme damage by toxically environmentally burden, and due to shortage of vitamins and trace elements, even though uh, can, can be happen with these toxins uh, acting, then we have a reduced function of immune cells, leading to ineffective immune reactions and pre persistent immune reactions, chronic infections. This will lead to disturbed immune tolerance, allergy, autoimmune reactions, leading to chronic immune activity. This brings reduced cellular, cellular resistance, going back to the starting point, reduced function of immune system. This is the circle which is going round and round. This circle is triggered by a lot of factors, immune complexes, bacteria, molds, particles, for instance, titanium, xenobiotics, metals, heavy metals, acrylates, they go to activate T cells and trigger this cycle again and again. So if you once start to be in this process, it's very hard to come out again. These processes targeting to the neuroendocrine immune system and they should also be integrated into the environmental health risk assessment. Thank you for your attention.